Okay, so we are out and about again on a Saturday morning. For the first time since we've been doing these walks, we are actually in our home county. Oh, I was going to say. Oh, sorry. Oh. Well, you we didn't tell me. We are in Brigstock. Yes, our home county of Northamptonshire. Yeah, up towards um, Corby, the north end of the county. Um, so we have got a 10, is it a 10 mile walk? It today? is, yes, 10 miles, walking 10 miles. Um, starting, as Sam said, in Brigstock, circular walk, uh, starting at the Green Dragon pub. Um, today's walk, we this is a, a, a part of the county where there's lots of woods and we've walked through or past several woods today. Um, and you'll be pleased to know that it's a quiz question. <laughs> is that? There is, yeah. There is, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So, okay, um, and it's 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 a it's a humdinger. It's a two-parter. It? It's a two-part, yeah, yeah. So listen carefully because this could make a huge difference to the quiz league standings. Two <laughs> two two points <laughs> could catapult someone from nowhere to top of the top of the league. Okay. So, it's, it's... <clears throat> okay. Oh, we need to get on with this. Okay, sorry. Right. Okay. So um, there's a connection, and this is the easier part. There's a connection on this walk with a beheading but it's an unusual beheading so the qu two-part question is who was beheaded and what was unusual about it so two points available okay so anyway is there anything else to say before we get started um no i don't think so what's um oh it's on the other side don't worry about it don't kill like wasting so. time sam <laughs> All right, so hopefully we'll be. The weather forecast is pretty reasonable today, even though it's pretty dull uh, and grey to start with. Oh, it's all right. um, but uh, well, grey. But um, so we shall catch up with you later. Yeah. Okay, bye. So we've been walking for about, about 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, <laughs> somewhere around that. Um, no, 35 minutes. 35 minutes. <laughs> but you've been stopping to take photos. Yeah, so. No, we uh, left the village, walked past a farm already, as you'll see from the photos. We've seen um, some lovely farm animals, which obviously you're a fan of in particular. There is a, there is a particular um, place of historical interest that we're walking past today. It's about, called um, Leavedon, I think it's Leavedon, or it might be Liveden, Leavedon New Build, oh. which is a, now a National What's Trust National Trust property, um, but it's only partly built. Yeah, so it's uh, yeah built in 1604 around that time and stopped. They stopped building. Oh. But it's owned by the um, Tresham family. Why did they stop building? Well, Thomas Tresham, who was the guy that was. Uh, head of the family at the time he died so uh, much like builders today not getting paid not doing the job <laughs> they just tools down and off they went, off they went. Fair enough. <laughs> so um, I know I know how much you enjoy a bit of history oh I do so we'll be we've got that to look forward to later isn't that exciting on these. yeah well there's no reason why these days out can't be fun, fun. And, and educational, educational. So we've done just over four miles and we're on the edge of Springwood. We've had to get a move on for the last 20 minutes or so because we've just walked through a bunch of um, thoroughly tweeded up blokes out on a shoot and they looked like they wanted to be walking and shooting with their big guns and dogs in our direction. So the couple of guys that we spoke to were friendly enough, but uh, we didn't really want to get in their way for any longer than we had to. So we're glad to be beyond them so they can get on with whatever they consider to be fun for a Saturday morning.
Okay, so we have come to the point of historical interest today. I know it's a particular highlight for Sam. <laughs> it's, uh, as you can see behind us, the roofless um, Leaved and New Build. I might have pronounced that slightly wrong. Uh, it's work. impressive, actually. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It would have been even more impressive if it had finished it. Yeah. Finished in, uh, well, unfinished, left unfinished in 1604. I don't know whether I said that earlier. Um, built by uh, Thomas Tresham and the Tresham family, a very well known local um, family here. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, impressive. Now National Trust, but you can get up close to it without having to pay. No, I should just <laughs> to take some photos. <laughs> So yeah, uh, worth coming to have a look at. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So we're just stopping for a bit of lunch, as you can see. Today's uh, video is sponsored by Thermos. <laughs> for all your flask needs. It's not really, obviously. <laughs> But we are open to sponsorship. <laughs> we have literally tens of viewers. <laughs> the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that Sam's opted for a different uh, type of crisp today. <laughs> no Tyrrells You're today. a big fan of Tyrrells, aren't you, Spud? I do like Tyrrells. She's gone for a generic supermarket brand today. Yes, it's as a, as, um, as, a cost, as a cost-cutting measure. <laughs> We've had to tighten our belts, haven't we? Yeah, well, we need that sponsorship, don't we? <laughs> Thermos, for all your flask needs, keeping warm things warm and cold things cold, <laughs> since forever. <laughs> so anyway, briefly, what about today's walk? This this little clip's going on forever. Um, is there a bit of a is there a bit of a Peak District hangover? There is a bit of a Peak District suffering hangover. by comparison. There, there, yeah, there is always when you've been somewhere that's that is spectacular. Um, but the walk has been great. Um, you've been keeping me um, entertained with lots of nice historical facts. As well. Oh yeah, well I'm glad you appreciate it. You, you, don't, you often don't seem to appreciate <laughs> it. Anyway, let's let's wrap it up there. And we haven't got long to go, have we? Once we get through, we're no, in the woods now, which got, is nice. Um, we've got about three miles, so yeah, yeah. Hour, hour and a half, because it's been really easy to easy to follow the route. And it's pretty, pretty much through a lot of walking through woodland on the way back, so. Still much to look forward to. Luckily, it's not too muddy today because <laughs> we would be getting on a different day. It would be up to our up to our knees in it. Super Zoom! <laughs> Super Zoom! So we are back at the car about four hours later. Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Um, so cut to the chase. Spud score. That's what everyone wants to know. Eight. Okay. Mm, okay. And ex brief explanation. Good, easy route to follow. Nice and succinct. Yes. Yep. Um, so there was no stopping and starting. 
um, we did get some good views. It's, it is very flat, and it is flat around here. But there's still there are still some good views to, to be had. But you can't, I can't give it the likes of a ten because that's your your Peak District and your Lake District okay. and, and okay. all of that. But it was a great walk. Um, great day. With, yeah, with some good historical interest along the way. Interests along the way. Okay, so. starting and finishing, starting and finishing in the village of Brigstock at the car park just outside the Green Dragon. It's OS Explorer 224. Um, we walk in a clockwise loop going through or past Harry's Park Wood, Springwood, Cockendale Wood, Ladywood and Fermins Wood. So if you had that map, you'd be able to roughly trace the walk that we've done today and past Leavedon, New Beald, which you wouldn't want to miss, would you? No, it was impressive. Okay, so I think that's pretty much everything, is it? Yes, I think it probably I is. Think so. <laughs> so not long, not long till Christmas. How exciting! Yes, and not that. Many not many walks, walks. Not many. No. Few. We haven't got many got, free um, weekends. No, no free weekends. But we shall see you soon. Bye.